Welcome to the AYP News Show, where Mark Silbert dives into the latest photography news. So, uh, first off, gender reveal parties have been uh, a lot in the news, so this is kind of very topical with that. Uh, but there's a park in Fort Worth, uh, Texas, here in the United States, where there are some people that are becoming increasingly bothered by photographers going off of the trails and bringing their clients and uh, they're afraid of the damage that is being done by uh, these photographers Uh, if we scroll down uh, you know people are bringing their clients they're bringing couches uh, and so we've got a little bit of a conflict between um, these people uh, I believe they're calling themselves like the friends of the friends of Tandry Hill uh, is uh, the name of the group. And so we've got this conflict between some photographers that are coming in to do this. I, I think, you know, when you start crossing, there's a there's a line you can cross. So we have our own trail. You guys have seen some shoots that we've done there. I did an interview with Bob Holmes there. Jared and I shot a whole bunch of uh, video clips for my course. But we're, okay, so we're going there. We're not intruding on nature. Now, when I look at these pictures of the smoke bombs and some of the other ones you showed me, the confetti bombs. Now, it's funny because after we reviewed this story on on my trail, which is like, you know, I can pretty much step outside my door and enter it. Yesterday, uh, there was a photo shoot. And there have been, you know, I've noticed more and more photo shoots going on there. Uh, I think because we do have to do things outside, people can't be in a studio, you know, they're okay, they're seeking a natural environment. That's fine. But does it intrude on nature? Or even you were telling me that one of the fires in LA was caused by, uh, was it a smoke bomb that went off? It was, yeah, it was a pyrotechnic uh, smoke bomb for a gender reveal party. Absolutely unacceptable. I mean, look, we don't need any more cause for starting fires in California. And if somebody's dumb enough to set off something when it's in the height of fire season, you know, that's just a criminal activity. So it's I think it's pretty simple. This is a new book that's come out fairly recently. Uh, Back in 2008, uh, a man named Brandon Stanton uh, created a book, uh, Humans of New York, where he went around New York and took uh, 10,000 photos of New Yorkers. 10,000. And so... uh, And so now he's decided to expand that, and he's gone all over over the world he did interviews with all of these people from across the world so you know here's the united arab emirates there's one from new york there's one from uh i think there's a dubai one so why why don't you talk about this mark i thought you had a really interesting perspective when we went over this okay here's my take on it and i i'm going to be very very blunt here uh from a photographic if i were critiquing these photos i would consider them mostly snapshots you know that there are missing elements there are, uh, I don't see decisive moments I don't see punctuation uh, the, even the exposure is like in this case with this guy you see the clouds back there he could have brought those clouds up but the point of the book is a story but I kind of wanted to make the point keep scrolling through here Jared um, you can create a very big splash with a book or with a photo story, even though the images themselves are not, these are not outstanding photos for the most part. Um, And I don't, I don't know if the, if the photographer knows that or not, but certainly we know it. Uh, But they're all about the fact that he was going around the world, catching these stories. These are, the, these are essentially snapshots. I mean, just keep going and you'll see what I mean. But it does say, uh, this This is probably the, the, for me, the only one that really caught my eye because it is framed between, you know, the, the posts. It's, you know, um, it's got that great expression. You know, he did blur the background. So that one is, you know, kind of hitting the artistic 
end of the photo scale. But for the most part, these are simply snapshots. And he, but he made a story out of it that somebody could, you know, create this big best selling book without having their photo chops really honed down. I would say to that, what would happen if he did? I mean, if I had Bob Holmes on here critiquing these, you know, you can imagine what he would be saying. Where's the punctuation? Where's the decisive moment? Uh, you know, these are these are important elements. But nonetheless, they're telling a story. So I just wanted to kind of point that out. It's a, you know, it's an interesting point as far as what, you know, people will be gravitating towards. Let's move on to our next story, which is about uh, Karsten uh, Thinkler. I think that's how you say his name. He's a German Pulitzer Prize winning uh, photographer who passed away recently. And we wanted to take a look at his work because he's got some amazing stuff. He won his Pulitzer Prize uh, for his work in Rwanda during yeah. the genocide over there. And so he's had a huge focus on um, especially photojournalism, documenting. Uh, you know, you can see here he's done like events for different corporations. Uh, but there was one sequence that you really wanted to look at. Let yeah. me pull that up. I This is really interesting. And I, I, I feel like this is the counterpart to what we saw in the human story because his his work is really fantastic but this because yeah now look at this photograph you guys you know we're all trained to say well the subject of the photograph should be sharp right should be in focus obviously he did this on purpose this wasn't just like by accident oh i forgot to focus the lens and he's showing us as an art form you can do whatever you want. There are no rules to photography. There's no rules to art for that matter. And it is those breakers of rules who become often become like the stellar photographers or artists. Go back to the other one, that first one. Uh, now, there's a famous quote from my my I will call him my mentor, Henry Cartier Bresson. His quote was, focus is bourgeois. Bourgeois is middle class, you know. That's, it's like, you know, not, it's right in the middle. In other words, what the general public will kind of uh, accept. So this is obviously out of focus. This is not a sharp image, but he did it on purpose, leaving the chairs in focus, leaving the, you know, the easel and the stuff in the side in, in focus, by all rights, this is, shouldn't be a good photograph, but it and very works. blown out too. Yeah, and it's not even exposed well. But I'm sure again, that's all on purpose. And again, we see somebody bending the rules and creating his own new rules, which is you know really something I'd encourage you guys to do. But you got to know the rules first. If you just, you know, it's kind of like somebody who looks at an abstract painter or looks at Picasso and says, oh, I, you know, my kid could have done that or I could do that. Yeah, but go back and look at Picasso. He could do everything exactly and precisely with a paintbrush to create very realistic paintings. Then he departed from that. So you can't skip that step and go, wow, this is going to be a great work of art. What's next, Jared? All right, something a little fun to end things off of. It's more fun with AI. Uh, the AI oh, yeah. on Facebook took a photo of some onions that a company is selling, uh, wa onions. Walla Walla Sweet Seeds, um, and they notified them that the product was overtly sexual positioning for their onions. <laughs> Just a regular bag of onions. Oh, uh, that's funny. So once again, it, it shows a little bit of fun. And this reminded you, Mark, of something, I believe. Yeah, I I haven't found it. I don't know if you were able to find that, Jared, but I heard. I did find it. Oh, you did? Okay. So the story yep. goes, if you've seen my, there it is. If you've seen my episode with Kim Weston, his grandson, talking about pepper number 30, he, he created 30 of these until he got what he wanted. It was a six hour exposure F 
280, 1 over 280. He created his own... Um, I actually need to dig into the story, but but he was accused of it being too sexual. Is this in this uh, article? Yep. Here? And so it says, uh, at the time, the pepper looked like muscles of the back flexing or the spine arching, as in old master paintings. It, you know, it's oh, definitely a case of people really looking into an image of a pepper. <laughs> well, that's a pretty sexy pepper there. Well, that was our that was our news, you guys, and I hope you enjoy it. We'd love to hear your comments. And also, hey, if you come across interesting stuff, will you send it to us? You can send it to AYP at silverstudios.com because we're always scouring around for interesting news stories. And if you find stuff, let us know. We had several in the technology department, but we kind of just didn't resonate enough for us. You know, it's got to it's got to be something really interesting for us to throw that in there because we're not about uh, tech. But if you guys see something, I don't care what it is. I mean, if it's a new camera that's promising or software or uh, a book or whatever, we certainly want to hear about it. We'd love to have you guys help us create these stories. Uh, will you guys remember to subscribe and enable the bell because you don't want to miss anything? Also, like and share. And always as always say this with me and we've learned about some things how you can get out and capture your own image you know and maybe twist the rules but remember to get out and capture your own images of life i love you guys see you soon talk to you soon stay well stay safe stay creative